What's up everybody, this is BC, welcome to another video and I wanted to make this video because as things transpire in my life and, and new things come in, I always want to share it with you. Uh, that's one of the things that I believe has attracted uh, the most people to me and my channel is my transparency with what I do with my life and who I am and what I'm about. And in this video, obviously, I'm talking about boxing, right? I recently got into boxing a little over a month ago and man, talk about nothing but positive benefits. Um, it takes me back to the days of playing basketball professionally, the competitiveness of it, and I wanted to make a video just to demonstrate to you some of the things that I've gotten from it and what I feel it could do for you, right? So, got into boxing probably uh, beginning of June, right? Um, uh, the second time that I worked out with a guy, I didn't have my wrist wraps and we were doing mitts and I ended up messing up my wrist. So I couldn't really uh, work out for a week or a week and a half to let my wrist heal, which still hurts a little bit, but it's getting stronger as the weeks go. And I wanted to just list a couple things that I believe have been the biggest ahas and you can say positive benefits in my life that I feel can definitely attribute to, to your life and to make your life better, okay? Now, let's be 100% real here. I told the guy, I'm not obviously going to be an amateur professional fighter at all. I mean, I'm 32 now, so I'm kind of over the hill when it comes to that. But I told him, I want you to train me. And this is a shout out to Brock. I'll put his information below in case you're in my area and you want to train. You can tell him that I sent you. Um, I wanted him to train me like I'm actually going to fight, so it's super intense. We're not just doing some regular little cardio workout. I mean, he's killing me, right? Like, I finished the workout after an hour, hour and a half, and I'm just like, done, okay? I've lost a ton of weight, um, and I feel incredible. So number one is it's tapped back into that competitiveness that I had and that I missed when I got out of basketball, but I really had during my basketball days of so many years. And that, I feel, is an X factor for a lot of people, especially if you're going to be an entrepreneur or a businessman. That competitive edge, not I want to destroy people, just you pushing yourself, you looking in the mirror and saying, I'm going to beat what you think you can't beat, right? He tells me to do 10 reps, I'm going to do 15, I'm going to push myself, and I do this all the time, right? People in the gym think I'm crazy. My trainer, you can ask him, he thinks I'm crazy because of how hard I go and how hard I push myself and what I'm saying, and you know, he tells me to do 10, I'm like, dude, is that it? Come on, let's do more. That competitiveness. Now, for all of you who maybe were not in sports, if you have the chance to ignite this, you're going to see a huge shift in your life as far as focus, energy, and discipline for going after your goals and building your business, okay? Because this physical manifestation of it will translate to your mind, right? It's mind and body connection. You're going to tap into something that I believe very few humans do at the level that I'm talking about throughout life. And if you do, it's going to give you a huge boost, right? Number two is it's going to help you with your discipline, right? You're going to have to go to the gym every single day to improve. You know, when you start your jab, your jab probably isn't going to be that good. You're not going to have much power on it. You're not going to throw your whole body into it, but you're going to build yourself time after time after time, and you're going to build that skill set. How many of you are in business, whether you're a realtor or starting an online uh, marketing, digital marketing thing, whatever it is, and, and you're new and it kind of you're like, oh man, like I don't want to go through the ropes. I don't want to be a rookie and have to suffer. I just want it all. I want success, right? It's going to force you to do that, get back to the basics and say, okay, I, I need to build a solid foundation and, and I need to go. And that's kind of what I experienced with this. A little bit of frustration kicked in. However, I said, you know what? I got to start from the bottom. And it's been about five weeks of training now and I've made huge progress, right? I'm sparring people all the time. I can't find people to spar, and this is a shout out to you guys, if any of you do box and you want to spar, please come come join me, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook as far as sharing my workouts and you're more than welcome to come, all you need to do is sign a waiver with, uh, with my trainer and you can go ahead and we can spar and have some fun. So that's number two. Number three, right, is now I put my money where my mouth is. I've been teaching a lot of you guys as far as being a great student, being a number one student. And for those of you who follow me closer on Facebook and Instagram, which is where I recommend you follow me if you want more vlog type stuff and day-to-day -day stuff, you see my dedication to it. I'm posting about it all the time. I even posted the first videos where I was really, really bad. Now I'm a lot more polished. I am an athlete, so I do have advantages coming in. I'm not just like a regular Joe coming into boxing who has no athleticism. I'm, I would say I'm pretty damn fast and explosive. I just had to learn the fundamentals to now be able to apply it to boxing. Right? But you're seeing my dedication. I didn't care. And I had so many people talking trash like, oh man, you're garbage. I was like, dude, I'm new. But I'm putting it out there and you're seeing my dedication to it. 
To become a master teacher, you must first become a master student. Whatever my trainer says, I do. I go all out 100% and it now allows me to show you what it's like to be a great student. So that's one thing it can teach you is how to be the best student. Okay? Number four in this would be, <clears throat> it is a kind of like a humbling experience because when you get into boxing, just like a lot of stuff in business, you don't necessarily have to be the most talented or the most gifted, right? I've already kind of messed around and sparred with people who aren't as athletically gifted as me, but can actually kick my ass because they're very technical, they've been in the game for a very long time and they know what they're doing, so they can expose my mistakes, okay? This is a good uh, eye-opener for a lot of you who maybe come into sales or something else where you do have some advantages and then you bank too much on that instead of understanding that, hey, this is a science, a sweet science, I need to learn the fundamentals and apply them. From there, I'm going to do a lot better, okay? That's another thing that will become much more apparent to you when you get in this game, especially if you come in with some sort of advantage or maybe special physical gifts that a lot of other people don't have. When you do get in the ring with somebody or learn from somebody who's, a, who's very technically sound, uh, they're going to be able to expose your mistakes or at least tell you, hey, you need to work on this. Anywhere you go, sports, business, life, a lot of the stuff that we do is a science and there has to be fundamentals that are mastered. And if you do that, you will have a huge leg up on your competition and everybody else because no one's willing to do that. No one's willing to put in the work, right? And last, I can comment on this, is it's going to test your will. I have him push me nearly to the point of vomiting and like passing out during my workouts. Now, you know why I do that? To test my will, to see how much I'm willing to take. I say I want it. I say I want to be a fighter and train like a fighter. Well, when it's time to show up and demonstrate it, are you going to put up or shut up? If you can push yourself in these workouts and in boxing, right? Guess how it's going to show up in other areas of life when you get tested a little bit mentally. Are you going to push yourself? Sure, of course. Because even in a moment where I'm a little bit um, flustered or maybe a little bit frustrated, I can think back to my basketball workouts and my boxing workouts and say, man, if I can make it through that, I can make it through anything. Because that's way more mental than it is physical. Your mind can push way harder than your body. You think you can't do more. Then he says do one more rep and you do it. Yet you thought you couldn't do it. I'm willing to be unbreakable. But to be unbreakable, you have to first be broken. And I put myself in that position over and over and over and over. That's why now, no one's going to beat me at the mind game. For sure. For sure, for sure, because now I'm tapping back into it, and you can if you start training, especially with boxing, and you push yourself to that level. It's going to require that you push yourself to that level. If you just pity pat and do a little bit of cardio, that's great. It's going to get you in shape. But are you willing to push yourself mentally to that next level, and that next level, and that next level? Because your trainer, especially mine, will put you in a position where you're not comfortable, right? I've sparred with a guy who's like MMA, kickboxer, Muay Thai, boxer who's very experienced and actually has done fights. That tested me mentally. I still showed up and did okay. Shout out to Andrew. He is a lot better than me. But I was still willing to step in that ring. I know a lot of people who wouldn't. I did. I did. And I will with anybody. I don't care. Right? That's the whole point here is I'm willing to put myself in those positions. And if I'm willing to do that in boxing, guess what? I'm willing to do it in other areas of life. And this is something you guys need to learn. This is something that teaches you a life lesson. A lot of these principles, the sweet science, the fundamentals, pushing yourself, right? The discipline, the uh, competitiveness, and all these other things translates to other areas of life. You need to start thinking this way, guys. This is where you can start pulling from different areas of life and applying it to business, communication, and all these other aspects that I cover to now make you a well-rounded individual and take you to the levels that other people will not get. Remember, the founder of Oracle, the company Oracle, he built his business based off the samurai code, and look where he's at. Use this thing. Expand your mind a little bit and watch what happens, okay? So, all of you who are here and who are local, maybe I'll see you in the ring or in the gym. Hopefully that'll be cool. As always, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe. Um, I'm a huge boxing fan now. I'll be releasing more videos about uh, maybe individuals that I watch as far as my favorite boxers and that kind of stuff. Lomachenko is one of my favorite boxers right now. Very technical, very explosive, very athletic. I love him. Uh, but I'll definitely be releasing more content, okay? Again, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment below if you are into boxing, that'd be cool. And as always, in the pinned comment below and uh, in the description, you'll find a link to the page that will take you to where I have all my affiliate links, all my products, all my services, like my Modern Success Personal Coaching and Mentorship Program, which I recommend all of you get on. And until the next video, Team BC Nation, bah, 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 bah. see you on the next one.